Ladies and gentlemen, I address you in some unexpected way for the 2020 GLL Press and Sports Awards. A virtual awards ceremony is not our intended means of delivery of the celebration of sport in Preston, but it's one that's becoming far more familiar in the current climate. The Preston Sports Forum and the University of Central Lancashire wanted to ensure that this year's extremely worthy shortlisted nominees are still recognised and rewarded for their commitment to sport in all its guises. On behalf of the organisers and the sporting community, I'd like to thank all of the GLL Preston Sports Award sponsors for their continued support, especially in light of the challenging current financial climate. It's wonderful to know that the sponsors hold the recognition of community sport in such high regard. And with that, I would like to individually thank the headline sponsor, Greenwich Leisure Limited, all the category award sponsors, Preston City Council, Ambulant Physiotherapy Limited, the Flower Bowl Entertainment Centre, the University of Central Lancashire, Real Care Support, Porsche Centre Preston, Preston Marriott Hotel, Walworth Nelson & Johnson Chartered Accountants, Frank Whittle Partnership Limited, the Centre for Volunteering and Community Leadership, Miller's Taxis, Go Velo, Ashton Joinery, Preston North End Community Education Trust for the sponsoring of the videos, and Surridge Sports for their sponsorship of the winner's trophies. Not only have the sponsors agreed to continue sponsoring the event, they've agreed that in the event of any surplus funds remaining, these will be donated to Preston Sports Forum and Ring Fence for Sporting Talent Athletes as part of the Preston Sports Forum's grants. I can honestly say that without their support, and in some cases continued annual support, this event wouldn't be able to take place virtually or in person. Thank you, and I can assure you all of your support is greatly appreciated. This year is a landmark year with the transfer of our biggest supporter, Preston Sports Development Team, to a new provider, the University of Central Lancashire. This year is the first year that the main sport for the Sports Awards and the running of Preston Sports Forum has been provided by the University of Central Lancashire and I'm sure you'll agree how well they've done, finding their feet at, at UCLAN. Organising the original event, cancelling the original event and developing a virtual version of the event, thank you to UCLAN for your support. We have a wonderful virtual event in store for you. I wish all the shortlisted nominees good luck I'm privileged to be part of the panel that assesses your nominations and I have to say that this year the calibre of nomination in the Young Achiever, Coach of the Year and Volunteer of the Year were exceptional. They really showed what talent Preston has to offer. The Primary Schools Award saw a record number of very good nominations too, making our decision extremely difficult. But all nominations, whether winners or highly commended, are worthy of recognition in my eyes. Thank you for John Collins from Preston Table Tennis Association and Harriet Ashcroft, Preston School Games organiser, for their time in assessing the applications. So sit back, get comfy, and I hope you enjoy the event. Hello everybody, I'm Paul Cronin. It's my great pleasure to be hosting the 15th annual GLL Preston Sports Awards in association with the University of Central Lancashire. Now, it may be the 15th awards ceremony, but it's also the first ever virtual sports awards event, which is why I'm here and you're there. Now, the panel were delighted by the variety of sports clubs that submitted nominations this year, all of which are doing a fantastic job in developing sport in the community. The variety, coupled with the high calibre of nominations, made selecting a winner as ever particularly difficult. Do you know it took under five hours, just under five hours, to complete the shortlisting process. That's how difficult it was. The panel have the utmost admiration and respect for the city's coaches, volunteers, clubs and athletes for the hard work and the dedication they demonstrated. In all categories, the quality of achievement was so high that the judges created a shortlist of nominees. From each shortlist, an overall winner was selected per category. The other nominees on the shortlist will also be recognised tonight as we award them highly commended certificates for their achievements, so everybody goes home with something. For each category, we'll see the shortlisted nominees and then I'll announce the winner. 
All shortlisted nominees will receive a certificate in the post and the winners will receive a trophy. Ooh. So without further ado, let's get on with the awards. Okie dokie, let's start with Coach of the Year, sponsored by Porsche Centre Preston. The shortlisted nominees are Kane Tack from the Sir Tom Finney Preston Soccer Centre and Football Club, Joe Ainsco and Sagwati Malabi from the PNE Women's Junior Football Club, and Leanne Whiteside from Ribbleton Girls Football Club. And the winner is Leanne Whiteside from Ribbleton Girls Football Club. Let's see Leanne in action. Coach of the Year, sponsored by Porsche Centre Preston. Leanne Whiteside. Leanne lives and breeds Ribbleton Girls Football Club. She was inspired by her daughter Evie to get more girls playing football in her local community. With the help from Ribbleton Juniors FC, Leanne set up Ribbleton Girls FC with the vision to get as many of Preston's girls playing football on a regular basis. Leanne started a development session that would allow girls from the age of 5 to 16 to turn up and play fun, grassroots football. In the last 12 months, the number has grown from four girls to over 60 taking part in regular sports each week. Leanne has been instrumental to this growth with her sheer determination to succeed. Leanne is always there for her fellow coaches and is always giving them support and guidance. The growth of the teams doesn't stop with the kids. Leanne has helped set up a ladies development training session to allow the football mums a chance to get more active and develop their football skills. Her commitment and enthusiasm shine through at all times and she is a role model for all at the club. Leanne Whiteside, Coach of the Year. Many congratulations Leanne and well done to the highly commended nominees Kane Tack from the Sir Tom Finney Preston Soccer Centre and Football Club and Joe Ainsco and Sagwati Malabi from the P&E Women's Junior Football Club. OK, our second award is Sports Club of the Year, sponsored by the Flower Bowl Entertainment Centre. The shortlisted nominees are Preston Dragons Dragon Boat Racing Club, Preston Pride Community Basketball Club and Preston Swimming Club. And the winner is Preston Pride Community Basketball Club. And let's see them in action. Sports Club of the Year sponsored by the Flower Bowl Entertainment Centre. Preston Pride Community Basketball Club. Preston Pride Community Basketball Club has come a long way under their current committee. Over the last 12 months, membership has increased to over 120, with players competing regularly across all age groups. One player was selected to represent the under 13's regional performance team. Preston Pride has created a number of local basketball leagues for clubs with seniors, under-14s and under-16s teams across Lancashire to play in. The club continually train and develop new coaches and volunteers and upskill their current coaches. They have 15 officials and coaches studying for their respective Level 2 coaching qualifications and 7 volunteers completing their Level 2 table official course. The club works closely with Cardinal Newman College and a number of schools across Preston. Without the players, coaches and everyone connected to the club, Preston Pride wouldn't have reached the success to date. Preston Pride Community Basketball Club, Sports Club of the Year. There we go. Congratulations to Preston Pride, superb. And also well done to both of the highly commended nominees, Preston Dragons Dragon Boat Racing Club and Preston Swimming Club. Time for our third award, and it's the Volunteer of the Year, aged 14 to 24 award, sponsored by the Frank Whittle Partnership Limited. So the shortlisted nominees are Ethan Tibbs from Preston Harriers, Laura Jackson from Preston Netball Club and Jacob Bowman from Preston Hockey Club. 
And the winner is... Ethan Tibbs from Preston Harriers. Let's see Ethan in action. Volunteer of the Year, aged 14 to 24 years. Sponsored by Frank Whittle Partnership Limited. Ethan Tibbs. Ethan is 18 years of age and an active athlete at Preston Harriers. In addition to his commitment to training and studies, Ethan has also qualified as a coach and for the last three years has been coaching youngsters on a weekly basis. This season he is coaching a group of more experienced young athletes aged between 12 and 17. Ethan is a fully qualified level 2 field official and is also the officials coordinator for the club. In several events last season, Ethan both officiated and competed, including the Northern Senior Promotion match. He attended almost all the track and field meetings the club was involved with, and that included officiating at regional and national finals. Ethan is setting an example for others by getting fully involved in club activities. He has become a member of the management committee and is responsible for the club's youth forum. Ethan's contribution to Preston Harriers has been outstanding and he is a brilliant role model to other young athletes within the club. Ethan Tibbs, Volunteer of the Year, aged 14 to 24 years. Congratulations, Ethan. Top stuff are the highly commended nominees in the category are Laura Jackson from Preston Netball Club and Jacob Bowman from Preston Hockey Club. Well done to both of you. Our fourth award of the evening is Volunteer of the Year, aged 25 years plus, and is sponsored by the Centre for Volunteering and Community Leadership. So the shortlisted nominees here are Mary McCauley from Preston Hockey Club, Imran Member from Sir Tom Finney Football Club, and Robert Ardron from Preston Swimming Club. The winner is Imran Member of Sir Tom Finney Football Club. Let's see Imran in action. Volunteer of the Year, aged 25 years plus. Sponsored by the Centre for Volunteering and Community Leadership. Imran Member. Imran is a dedicated, highly motivated and charismatic volunteer. With the increasing size of Sir Tom Finney FC, there was a demand for better communications at the club. Imran was responsible for setting up and maintaining the club's website, Facebook, Twitter and other social media avenues. Imran, who was already on the committee, volunteered to take on this role. He constantly updates the website and oversees and regulates the various social media sites as more teams are added to the club. This has resulted in an improved website and a social media process that is safe and secure. Imran has volunteered a considerable amount of time to the project, giving over 100 hours at the outset in setting up the club's website. He completes approximately 10 hours per week managing the club's online presence. In addition, he's also manager and coach of the under-9s team, a committee member, organises events and holds a full-time job in Manchester to support his young family. Imran Member, Volunteer of the Year. Congratulations Imran, fantastic stuff. A big well done also to the highly commended nominees Mary McCauley from Preston Hockey Club and Robert Ardron from Preston Swimming Club. Award number five now and it's the Young Achiever Under 21 Years of Age Award next sponsored by Miller's Taxis. The four shortlisted nominees are Phoebe Bolton from Preston Hockey Club Nathan Holmes from Preston Swimming Club, Leon Parker Livesey from Preston Pirates BMX Club and Jazz Greenwood from the City of Preston Gymnastics Club. The number of shortlisted nominees shows the strength of this category and the winner is Leon Parker Livesey from Preston Pirates BMX Club. Let's see Leon in action. Young Achiever of the Year, sponsored by Miller's Taxis. Leon Parker Livesey. Leon won the 2019 British Championship in the Expert Male 15s category, 
riding above his age category, having won this title last year in his own age group. He is also North Region Champion Expert Male for 16-year-olds, Manchester Indoor Series Champion for 15-year-olds and Preston Pirates Club Champion for 16-year-olds. Leon has qualified to represent Great Britain in the World BMX Championships in Houston, Texas in 2020. He is a hard-working and committed rider who is always supportive of his teammates and younger riders. He was a mentor of Preston Pirates BMX Club before he was invited to train with the National Skills Racing Programme as part of British Cycling. He rides nationally as part of the Pro Start FTB BMX team and enjoys the camaraderie and friendships as part of this group. Leon trains hard in all weathers for hours and hours and is always the last one on the track. He showed tremendous commitment and dedication, returning to training after two months away due to a fractured elbow. Leon is aiming for a place on the GB team to ultimately compete in the 2024 Olympics. Leon Parker Livesey, Young Achiever of the Year. Congratulations, Leon. Top effort. And also well done to the three highly commended nominees who are Phoebe Bolton from Preston Hockey Club, Nathan Holmes from Preston Swimming Club and Jazz Greenwood from the City of Preston Gymnastics Club. Time for our sixth award now, which is the Senior Achievement Stroke Performance of the Year, sponsored by Real Care Support. The shortlisted nominees here are Dean Heaps from Preston Swimming Club. You like this one. Luke Poole. Who pulled from Preston Swimming Club? Now, the panel said this was another particularly strong category. There can only be one winner, and the winner is, I'll try not to laugh when I say this, Luke Poole. Who else could it be? Luke Poole from Preston Swimming Club. Let's see Luke in action. Senior Achievement and Performance of the Year, sponsored by Real Care Support. Luke Poole. Luke is a member of Preston Swimming Club's Senior Sprint Squad who train and compete at a high level of Masters Swimming. He has competed at both the World and European Masters Championships, the National Masters, Regional Masters and County Masters, while also holding down a full-time job. Not only does Luke have to access pool hours, he also has to find time to do land training three days a week. He has to regularly sacrifice a number of social events to ensure he can continue to perform at the highest level. Luke is still very much an integral member of Preston Swimming Club and competes for the club in team events and the Arena League. This has led to a number of British Masters records being broken this year, whilst also reaching the finals of Arena League for the first time since 2014. He was an integral part of the team which finished third in the British Masters Swimming Championships Top Club Award for 2019. Individually, Luke was county, regional and British champion in the 50 freestyle and the 100 freestyle and received a silver medal at the World Masters Championships in South Korea. Luke Poole, Senior Performance of the Year. Congratulations, Luke. Luke Poole, you couldn't, you couldn't write it, could you? And a big well done also, we mustn't forget, our highly commended nominee, Dean Heaps, from Preston Swimming Club. Right, we're just over halfway through the awards ceremony. Uh, whilst we were playing the clips, I've been and had my starters and my mains. Very nice chicken it was, prawn cocktail uh, and a chicken. But it's time now for the Sport for All Award, sponsored by Preston City Council. The shortlisted nominees here are Luke King, who's a member of various clubs, and Joe Walker from the Preston Panthers Disability Sports Club. Sadly, there can only be one winner, and that winner is Luke King. Let's see Luke in action. Sports for All Award, sponsored by Preston City Council. Luke King. Luke is passionate about women and girls football and took the decision to coach the University of Central Lancashire's Women's Futsal Club. Once a week, female students and staff come together to enjoy and play futsal, with numbers increasing to over 20. Luke has encouraged girls who wouldn't normally choose to participate in sport at university by engaging the black, Asian and minority ethnic groups from Uclan's Islamic Society. 
The popularity of the sessions has seen players' numbers grow massively towards the end of the year. Lucas also coached at Preston Muslim Girls High School and the Sir Tom Finney Soccer Centre and has been involved in a number of different initiatives to help drive participation in young people with disabilities. Luke is always looking to develop his experiences and contact with different groups and help girls to boost their confidence and technical skills with his engaging coaching style. Luke is a passionate, responsible, selfless and an inspirational individual. Luke King, Sport for All Award. Congratulations, Luke, and well done to the highly commended nominee, Joe Walker, from the Preston Panthers Disability Sports Club. OK, now we're going to find out who is the primary school school of the year. The award is sponsored by Go Velo Limited. The three shortlisted nominees are Sherwood Primary School, St Andrew's C of E Primary School and St Maria Goretti Catholic Primary School. This category really demonstrated the strength of PE and school sport in Preston. The winner is St Andrew's C of E Primary School. Let's see them in action. Primary School of the Year, sponsored by Go Velo. St Andrew's Primary School. St Andrew's CE Primary School is the only school in Preston to have received a School Games Platinum Award. This award recognises the school's outstanding commitment to sport by the Youth Sports Trust. Every child has access to two hours of PE every week and also offers a rich extracurricular timetable including football, netball, tag rugby, cricket, athletics, gymnastics, judo, fencing and many more. The school's commitment to PE and the school sports premium investment in training for staff has improved subject knowledge and increased confidence in the delivery of PE lessons so that all children have access to high quality teaching. The school has been committed to providing inclusive events for all children with the aim that every child will have the opportunity to represent the school in a physically active event. Children are now becoming engaged in sports and physical activity, both in and outside of school. The school has a sports committee that are heavily involved in sport and physical activity decision making. The school has also won a multitude of competitions and leagues over the last year. St Andrews Primary School, Primary School of the Year. Congratulations, brilliant, and well done to St Andrews C of E Primary School. And congratulations also go to the highly commended nominees in this category, who were Sherwood Primary School and St Maria Goretti Catholic Primary School. So that was the Primary School School of the Year. Let's find out now who'll be the Secondary School School of the Year. The award is sponsored by the Preston Marriott Hotel. Now, the panel felt that one school really stood out in the shortlisting process. They demonstrated their achievement and commitment to offering the greatest number of opportunities for the greatest number of students in the greatest number of sports. Not bad. And the winner is Archbishop Temple School. Let's see the school in action. Secondary School of the Year sponsored by the Marriott Preston Hotel. Archbishop Temple School. The greatest number of opportunities for the greatest number of students in the greatest number of sports is the ethos of Archbishop Temple. Sport runs through everything they do, from curriculum time to extracurricular activities. 15 sports are taught within the school timetable, which allows the students to get hooked on a sport. The teaching has a focus on individual skill development, meaning all students benefit technically and physically, also giving them the confidence to engage socially in sports. The school also has an extensive extracurricular programme to raise participation as a whole, providing competitions and opportunities for all students. Sports clubs in the school are open to everyone and are changed each term to increase the chances of students finding a club which they can engage with. The school enters competitions in the Preston District and has good links with external clubs and primary schools and provides opportunities for students to develop leadership skills for the delivery of events. 
As well as the high participation, the school prides themselves on their outstanding extracurricular results, including two football teams reaching the last 16 of national competitions. Archbishop Temple School, Secondary School of the Year. Congratulations, Archbishop Temple. Time for our 10th award now, and it's the Community Organisation of the Year Award, which is sponsored by Ambulance Physiotherapy Limited. The shortlisted nominees here are Preston Panthers Disability Sports Club and Preston Netball Club. Sadly as ever, there can only be one winner, and that winner is Preston Panthers Disability Sports Club. Let's see the club do their stuff. Community Organisation of the Year, sponsored by Ambulance Physiotherapy Limited. Preston Panthers Disability Sports Club. Preston Panthers Disability Sports Club supports children and young adults aged 5 to 25 and is run by parents for the children. Operating in a deprived district of Preston, Panthers managed to be creative in keeping the club running by having support from UCLan volunteers, local colleges, schools, organisations and shops. The club secured grants from the one-stop shop carrier bag charges, which has brought money in to fund extra equipment. Every year the club self-fund a holiday to the Lake District. This helps inspire the members and helps their families, some who have never been on holiday before. The club also receives donations from the Recycling Lives Fair share scheme, and the food is distributed to support some of the families. Within the last year, Panthers has extended its reach by committing to help other groups join in their swim sessions. The club is continually looking for ways to increase provision and meet the requirements of the community, whilst also providing first-class opportunities for all. Preston Panthers is a valuable asset to Preston's community, and one we hope will have a lasting legacy. Preston Panthers Disability Sports Club Community Organisation of the Year. Congratulations Preston Panthers and well done to the highly commended nominees, Preston Netball Club. Time for our 11th award now. We've got to get a crack on because I've got to go and get my dessert. And this award is for the Higher Stroke Further Education Team of the Year Award, which is sponsored by Ashton Joinery. This was a closely contended category with both shortlisted teams performing extremely well in their sports. The two shortlisted nominees are the UCLan Golf First Team, and UCLan Tigers Cheerleading Level 1 Co-Ed. And the winner is UCLan Golf First Team. Let's see them in action. Four! Higher Stroke Further Education Team of the Year. Sponsored by Ashton Joinery. UCLan Golf First Team. UCLan Golf First Team are quite simply in a class of their own. They are the highest performing team across all sports at the university and have held this position for over 10 consecutive years. They are also joint winners of British Universities and Colleges Sport Premier North League. This is a league of the top six teams in England and Wales. One of the female team members was the first UCLan student to win the BUCS Northern Stroke Play event beating over 40 of the UK's top student golfers to win the trophy. Despite having new members on an annual basis, the coaching and support staff ensure that the team consistently performs to the highest standards and maintains the reputation as being one of the best university teams in the UK. As a team, they are formidable and one of the few sports where genders are not prohibited from competing against and alongside each other. The team members are students on golf management courses and, as part of their ongoing professional development, they offer golf lessons and instruction to pupils at local schools and promote the benefits of physical and mental well-being. UCLan Golf First Team, Higher Stroke Further Education Team of the Year. Congratulations to UCLan Golf First Team and a huge well done to the highly commended nominees, the UCLan Tigers Cheerleading Level 1 Co-Ed. Our penultimate award, so we're coming towards the end, so I've had my dessert, very nice it was, trifle. Uh, this award is the Special Recognition Stroke Service to Sport Award sponsored by the University of Central Lancashire. The shortlisted nominees here are 
Jane Bretherton from the City of Preston Gymnastics Club, Bernice Marshall also from the City of Preston Gymnastics Club, and Dave Wilcock from the BAC Stroke EE Sports and Social Club. The winner is Dave Wilcock from the BAC Stroke EE Sports and Social Club. Let's see Dave in action. Special recognition, stroke service to sport. Sponsored by the University of Central Lancashire. Dave Wilcock. Dave has been involved with the BAC EE Sports and Social Club for over 30 years. The club offer organised sports to the community of Preston, such as football, cricket and table tennis. Dave started out as a coach of the adult football team and then the cricket team. He was at the forefront of setting up the Junior Football Club in 1999, which continues to thrive, offering football facilities to over 200 children. Over the past few years, the club has hit difficult times and has had to rely more and more on volunteers rather than paid staff. Dave has taken up the roles of the bar steward and cleaner, both previously paid roles that he has taken on in a voluntary capacity to help reduce costs. These are on top of the groundsman role that he has undertaken for many years. Dave can always be found at the club. If he's not cutting the grass, marking out the pitches or serving behind the bar, he will be cleaning up the changing rooms or setting up the function room. Dave oversees everything and without him, the club would have ceased to exist years ago. There is no doubt that without Dave's passion and commitment, the club simply wouldn't have existed as long as it has. Dave Wilcock, special recognition stroke service to sport. Congratulations, Dave. The highly commended nominee for this category was Jane Bretherton from the City of Preston Gymnastics Club. Have we missed somebody else out? Yep, Bernice Marshall. Bernice Marshall, we've missed you out. You're on highly commended as well. Well done. Well, we've reached our 13th award and lucky for some, but it is also our final award, which is the big one, the Lifetime Achievement Award, sponsored by Walwork Nelson and Johnson Chartered Accountants. The panel were unanimous in their decision that this individual in this particular year should receive this highly coveted award. Without giving anything else away, I'm going to let the film say the rest. Lifetime Achievement, sponsored by Walwork Nelson & Johnson Chartered Accountant. Stephen Daly. In a career spanning 25 years and representing England at nine World Cups and nine European Championships, Stephen has made the difficult decision to retire. He holds a record 143 appearances as captain for the England futsal squad, appearing in two World Cup finals in 2017 and 2019. He has won two silver and two bronze World Cup medals, three European bronze medals and was awarded European Football of the Year in 2001. He has used his profile and the power of football and futsal to create strong links between Preston and other international cities, such as Beijing in China. He is England's longest serving player and captain and was introduced to the Football Hall of Fame in 2007 and the Northern Ireland Gallery of Legends in 2012. Stephen is determined to continue his involvement in football and whilst one door has closed, another one within management and coaching could open up soon. He has now achieved the FA B licence qualification, the first visually impaired person to achieve this. Stephen Daly, Lifetime Achievement Award. A huge congratulations to Stephen. And did you know that he was recently awarded the MBE as well? Double bubble. Uh, well earned. Your trophy and certificate are in the post. That was lovely, that trifle. No, I couldn't eat another thing. No, I, oh, there you are. Well, that brings us to the end of this year's virtual awards. And before I hand over to Peter Mason to say a final few words, I'd like to just highlight the fantastic achievements of all the athletes you've seen as part of the first ever virtual event. And while the recipients haven't been here in person, and we do miss everybody, we do hope we've given you a flavour of their absolutely amazing achievements. Fingers crossed we get back to some normality in time for next Preston Sports Awards. And I really hope to see you in person very soon. Good night, everybody. Thanks very much. Thank you, Paul. 
I hope you agree that tonight's virtual JLL Preston Sports Awards has been one, of, one to remember for so many reasons. Finally, all that's left for me to say is congratulations to all of the award winners and highly commended nominees. And once again, I'd like to thank everyone who's helped to make the event special. That is to the University of Central Lancashire for their support with the organisation and delivery of not one, but two events this year. And a huge thank you to the following sponsors. Greenwich Leisure Limited, Preston City Council, Ambulant Physiotherapy Limited, the Flower Ball Entertainment Centre, University of Central Lancashire, Real Care Support, Porsche Centre Preston, Preston Marriott Hotel, Walwork Nelson and Johnson Chartered Accountants, the Frank Whittle Partnership Limited, the Centre for Volunteering and Community Leadership, Miller's Taxis, Go Velo, Ashton Joinery, Preston North End Community Education Trust, and last but not least, Surridge Sports. The event would not be the same without Paul Crone and his endless enthusiasm and support for the event, and also Stanley Road Film and Media Productions, who create some visual masterpieces year after year. This year, I'd also like to thank the LIS Video Production Services team from the University of Central Lancashire for supporting the transition of the physical event into the virtual one that you've seen today. What a year it has been. Thank you and stay safe.